क्वेश्चन नंबर 77 सेज ऑन हीटिंग एन एलिफेटिक प्राइमरी एमीन विद क्लोरोफॉर्म एंड इथेनॉलिक पोटेशियम हाइड्रोक्साइड द ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड फॉर्म्ड इज फोर ऑप्शंस आर गिवन वन इज एन एल्काइल आइसोसाइनाइड द अदर वन एन एल्केनॉल द थर्ड वन एन एल्केन डायल एंड द लास्ट ऑप्शन इज एन एल्काइल साइनाइड what actually happens when aliphatic primary amine reacts with chloroform and ethanolic potassium hydroxide एलिफेटिक प्राइमरी अमीन रिएक्ट्स विद क्लोरोफॉर्म एंड के ओ एच डिजॉल्ड इन इथेनॉल द प्रोडक्ट फॉर्म इज आइसोसाइनाइड आइज ऑल्सो नोन एज कार्बाइल अमीन के सी एल एंड वॉटर the answer is an alkyl isocyanide it is a foul smelling compound it is a test of primary amines so the correct answer is option 1 now we move on to the next question that is question number 78 question number 78 says in sn2 reactions the correct order of reactivity for the following compounds methyl chloride ethyl chloride isopropyl chloride and tertiary butyl chloride is four options are given the reactivity of alkyl halides towards sn2 reaction depends on the steric hindrance at the attacking center as the steric hindrance at the attacking center increases the reactivity decreases so the correct answer will be decided by the steric hindrance at the attacking center reactivity order towards sn2 reaction will be methyl chloride will be most reactive because the steric hindrance is least at the attacking center followed by ethyl chloride the steric hindrance has slightly increased this is followed by isopropyl chloride and tertiary butyl chloride will be least reactive this is the correct answer so of the given options we find this option is the correct answer option 3 is the correct answer now we move on to the next question that is question number 79 Question number seventy nine says, the octahedral complex of a metal ion M three plus with four monodentate ligands L one, L two, L three, and L four absorb wavelengths in the region of red, green, yellow, and blue respectively. The increasing order of ligand strength of the four ligands is four options are given. first let us compare the energy of different colors
the violet color has the shortest wavelength and has the highest energy in the visible region as the wavelength increases the energy decreases the four colors given the red color has the lowest energy followed by yellow followed by green followed by blue so red color has the lowest energy blue has got the highest energy this is the energy order now when a complex absorbs light the ligand bonded to metal ion will be stronger if it absorbs shorter wavelength higher the energy of the light absorbed higher is the strength of the ligand so the increasing order increasing order of strength of ligands is the ligand l1 absorbs the red color so that has got the lowest strength the ligand l3 absorbs the yellow color that is stronger than l1 the ligand l2 absorbs the green color the green color has got higher energy than yellow and finally the ligand l4 absorbs the blue color so that has got the highest strength this is the increasing order of ligand strength now of the four options option 3 is the correct answer now we move on to the next question that is question number 80 Question number eighty says the equation which is balanced and represents the correct products is four reactions are given. Now, if we look at these four reactions, option one, the equation is balanced but it does not give the correct products. Copper sulfate reacts with potassium cyanide to form cupric cyanide. cupric cyanide dissociates to give cuprous cyanide and cyanogen cupric cyanide reacts with kcn to form k3cucn whole 4 in this complex the oxidation state of copper is plus 1 so the first option does not give the correct products the second option If you look at the basic strength of lithium oxide and potassium oxide potassium oxide is more basic than lithium oxide normally a weak base is formed from strong base not the other way in this reaction what we are doing we are producing strong base from weak base so this also does not give the correct products the option 3 is balanced and gives the correct products option 4 is not balanced on the left hand side on the reactant side there is a net charge of minus 2 on the product side there is a net charge of plus 2 so the correct answer is option 3 which gives the balanced reaction as well as the correct products now we move on to the next question that is question number 81 Question number eighty-one says, in the reaction, acetic acid with lithium aluminium hydride gives A. A reacts with PCl five to give B. B reacts with alcoholic KOH to give C. The product C is four options are given: acetyl chloride, acetyl dehyde, acetylene, ethylene. What happens when acetic acid reacts with? lithium aluminum hydride 
Lithium aluminum hydride is a reducing agent. It reduces acetic acid to ethanol. So product A is ethanol. Ethanol reacts with PCL5 to give ethyl chloride. Product B is ethyl chloride. Ethyl chloride reacts with alcoholic KOH to give ethylene as product C. So product C formed in the given reaction is ethylene. The correct answer is option 4. Now we move on to the next question that is question number 82.